Hey, everybody. It's Friday night, 6 o'clock. I think I switch those around sometimes. Who knows? But either way, it's time for dragons and stuff. Woo! I am GM Jim Jam, here to bring death and destruction upon my friends Not in a rousing fair. game <laughs> Not nice. of Paizo's Pathfinder Tabletop RPG. Uh, I'm excited for this week because, as you, if you remember from last week, we're starting out in the middle of a dire situation. Dire that Marcus has already run away from, exactly. leaving the party stranded, without hope, certain to die. I'm eager to get into this and crush people's hopes and dreams right away. But first, let's talk about prizes, because we're giving them out this week. Uh, we have an exciting new Wait. sponsor this week. What, so no, when we get into these prizes, I want you to know that I'm very excited to present them to you. But before I present them to you, I have to go to Ben. Ben's going to let me know who is presenting these prizes. The fans have Sarge, spoken, Sarge. and they <laughs> loved last week so much that they asked you to do Sarge. Oh, I, yes. missed, I missed your poll. I didn't Sarge. vote. I would have gone against you so but much. We should be in pause. I want stubs. I want, I want stubs. That would have only been one stubs. vote, stubs. and it looks like most of the majority of the vote was over Sarge. I want you to put in Squire quickly So Sarge once. it is. Go ahead. OK. It's my turn now? Yes. Thanks, guys. Sorry to be presenting the prizes this week. If you want to get in on this Twitter poll that everybody's been talking about, you can follow Ben on Twitter at Look, it's Ben Birch. Every week he's putting up a poll with four possibilities of NPCs to choose from. One of those NPCs always gets selected uh, to to present the prizes to you. So without further ado, and I also oh, wait, do uh, ahead, DNS ben. aftermath where I put up a poll about the show and um, and who either did it best. Or who did the worst thing of that night? Oh yeah. Normally, uh, Lyra won both times. I so did. Far. She won once for the best thing and once for the worst thing. So. What did excellent. I lose? To? What? What? I, yeah, I know one of Don't them. Don't worry. Aww. Without further ado. Uh. Prizes. Well, uh, it looks <laughs> like here we have a box. I'm assuming that there will be things inside the box. This box will come from Dungeon Crate. Uh, it will not be called a dungeon crate, it will be called an adventure vault. The adventure vault will contain all manner of items related to tabletop RPGs of any system you choose to play. You can use those items in your game to enhance your experience or just to proclaim your love of tabletop RPGs. <laughs> this, this box will arrive to you in the mail in a reasonable time frame. <laughs> this adventure vault will contain a variety of items from past dungeon crates which is a subscription service that you can subscribe to and they will send you further crates in the future this is not one of those crates because as i mentioned it is an adventure vault <laughs> if you want to win the adventure vault all you have to do is share this half of the episode with the hashtag dragons and stuff publicly on your Facebook page. At that point, our evil and trapped djinn will count up the number of people who have eligibly shared this half of the episode, and we will select one of you randomly to win the Adventure Vault. That is all. Thank God. Sarge never talks this much. Yeah, that I is more than a, Sarge has I'm, talked I'm dead. in Craig's 23 already, already episodes. Right. I'm out. I I'm done. As I'm I done mentioned, with that. Uh, our prizes this week are coming from Dungeon Crate. They have been gracious enough to sponsor this half of the, or, or this entire, this half and the next half of the episode. They're amazing. Uh, I am really excited to have them on board because they have an amazing product. I suggest you guys go over and check it out at DungeonCrate.com. As I mentioned, as Sarge mentioned, they have a subscription box service where you can sign up. There's various tiers uh, for, for the frequency with which they will send you boxes. Those boxes will contain a random assortment of RPG-themed items. Uh, I have seen a lot of these items. They're really cool. If you love RPGs, seriously, head over to DungeonCrate.com. Uh, see if any of those subscriptions are right for you, or just purchase your own Adventure Vault if you don't happen to win one uh, from us today. Um, of course, uh, Sirenscape will always be heard in the background. Uh, providing ambiance and music to our, our players and to you out there. So head over, if you like what you hear, you can head over to sirenscape.com. You can download their app and check out their subscription, which allows you uh, access to a whole host of sound libraries, uh, which will add great depth 
and excitement to your tabletop RPG sessions, whether it's fantasy or sci-fi. Uh, and of course, we can't get through this without thanking Paizo, because they made this game, and they produce so much amazing content, most of which you can find over at Paizo.com. If you go over to Paizo.com, you can uh, purchase uh, the core rulebook, uh, uh, the adventure supplements, entire campaign settings, uh, monsters, minis, treasure, ca character folios, as Ben loves so very much. Show, show him the character folio. Oh. Ben, uh, ben, Ben's got this character, he loves it. Not only have They're I gotten it, it but I've convinced someone else to get it as well. What? Me, I if, haven't filled it out yet, but I got mine. <laughs> not the musical episode, by the way. This is not this the is musical not the episode. Musical episode. Oh, yeah. But I got funny. mine, and it's so amazing. Get it, get it. Be like you Diana, <laughs> give in to the peer pressure, go over to Paizo.com and purchase some stuff so that you can have an amazing, awesome game full of craziness and fun like we have. Uh, of course, if you just want to quick reference the rules, and there are a lot of them, you should head over to d 20 dfsrdcom because all of the rules are there for your perusal, searchable, findable, wonderful. I use it every single episode, every time I'm playing both here for you in front of the camera and when I'm just at home. I'm looking at it all the time because it's an amazing reference. So that's d 20 dfsrdcom Now that we've gotten all that out of the way, I'm excited to jump into this because, as I mentioned, we are starting yep. in the midst of chaos. Dun, but first, a little dun, recap. Dun. <laughs> when last we met, when last. we took a look back at Crag's adventure, tracking the Red Masked Mercenary known only as Mr. Jones. Crag was attacked by a small band of hungry wolves while he stalked through the woods at night. The battle, battle nearly went sideways, but Crag's rage provided the <laughs> raw power he needed to overcome the beast and a little help from Mr. Jones himself was no small part of it either. Mr. Jones and Craig. <laughs> See? There Musical. we go. <laughs> a temporary truce was called while Craig was led to the ruined watchtower in the forest, forest where the mercenaries once held Squire Quigley and Father Langdon. Craig, you noticed that the mercenaries has once again established a presence at the tower and that they meant to stay. However, you were given a place to sleep, food, and safe passage back to Trapsburg. Once you were back in town, you reunited, reunited with the rest of the party, who had recently completed their Griffin Egg heist with Horatio Swan. While you waited for word from the wizard, whom Squire Quigley does not trust, what? you were approached by Aaron, who runs errands. <laughs> he mentioned you had a job offer waiting for you at the nearby, nearby Lormeyer Clay Pits, should you wish to pay Stanford Lormeyer a visit. You decided to follow up on this. And that took you to the Lormeyer estate, where Stanford received you and explained that his workers were refusing to work and you might help by motivating them. You also met a spokesman for the workers named Stubbs. I believe we also enjoyed some cheese, Jim. Cheese, cheese was also enjoyed. You Make did. note of that uh, cheese for the record. Was enjoyed. Cheese was enjoyed. Cheese. <laughs> yeah, there was, a, there, was a, there was a plethora of cheeses. No cheese. Stubbs claimed that things had been, had been, things have been seen in the clay pits and one of them even killed a worker. The workers were on strike until Lormeyer paid the death benefit to the worker's family and ensured the safety of the pit. You all decided to investigate this further and spent some time in the clay pits yourselves. You noticed odd yeah. signs, but saw nothing proving rumors of the creatures. You decided to wait for nightfall, and in the night, you were attacked by hideous, flowing clay monsters. The battle has raged yeah. without end as a seemingly never-ending army of these <laughs> creatures flows up out of the ground in wave after wave. And that is where we find you now. <clears throat> you are under assault. A fresh wave of creatures having just emerged from the ground. I mean, Marcus, I'm not in the midst. Uh, don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll get to you. Marcus has rushed towards Lormeyer Manor to rouse Stanford, who has demanded proof of these creatures if he is to pay any additional fees to you or the dead worker's family. Which is important to me that we get additional fees because <laughs> additional I feel like fees he, are he very important. Us he only gave us 500. He gypped us. Uh, he gypped us. What a jerk. Dude, in any case, like I, I'm not, I don't. We are in the middle. You need to keep running. <laughs> you need to keep running. <laughs> we are in the middle of a furious round of combat. Quigley has already taken his oh, action. No! I stride and boldly forth. You, you did. You, you, you strode boldly forth. Marcus Wait, has already again. fumbled his way a little bit closer Where, to Lormeyer Manor. I want to see the Legos. I there have just are. caused more creatures to emerge <coughs> from the muck to assault you. 
<laughs> making it Lyra's turn. Oh, Lyra! Cute. Look at that Lego. After Lyra, it will be Crag. And then rounding out the round, did the crit machine herself, <laughs> Alex. I love it. <laughs> Crit machine. I, know, I, three, I think it was three I don't, I don't in know. A row. That was insanity last week. I know. That was crazy. That was crazy. So Lyra, oh, no. it is your action. It's you are surrounded turn? by enemies. I have to start. Okay, where is everyone? Can you tell me? Well, we're I mean, there on the close he, he's pins. He's gonna say some words that he normally says, but you've, you know what? You've done it. It's fine. You just no, go no, now. no, no. I need to hear it. I do too. What do you do? Where is everybody? We're here on the couch. <laughs> you? Yes, thank you. Don't we stop? You and Alex are st still near a wall. Hey, you know, before you start that, should Good. we? Good job. I'll wait. I'll this all on her own, too. Yeah. We should probably do con. <clears throat> so go ahead. You can read Brian Summer's con. Lyra, did you know that this is episode 23? Oh my gosh. We've done this 23 this is, weeks. This is the Michael Jordan episode. Did you know that every week he says, what do you do? And then every week, as you so aptly remembered on your own with no help from anyone, we read the comments first. So Brian Summer says, let us yeah. take this moment to recite <laughs> yeah. the dragons and stuff chat room participants. Should we all recite it? Dear, Dear Lord, Lord, we, we beseech, beseech thee to, to bestow upon us a show which is light in shopping, oh, yeah. high in combat, and, and which, which will cause a minimum of emotional distress caused by intergroup conflict. conflict. You Yay, know, we know <laughs> this to be a high and difficult, difficult request, but we have faith in your mighty power, and we know you will smite any member of the group who, who decides to be a douchebag. Douche Except for Mark. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> douchebag. <laughs> douche That's good stuff. Greg Kozak Amen. says, Marcus will crush the enemy with his uh. ego <laughs> and the power of the universe. Let's Mark, not forget that. Mark. Surprise like that Lord Marcus isn't his own planet <laughs> and crushing people that way too. Dylan Kayser says, I hope there are bear traps in this adventure vault. <laughs> That's no, very true. No promises. Could be, I mean, we have no idea though. No one knows what's in the box. That's Charles true. Pryor says, Hi, Steve from Sirenscape. Apparently, uh, Steve from Sirenscape is also in the chat room. I hope the music is most dire tonight. Me too. We're hoping for cheery music and we destroy them very quickly. Very quickly? Very quickly. Lyra? Josh Applin, the day comes when you show the seven-year-old the world of tabletop <laughs> with dragons and stuff. Help. Yeah, that was a complete sentence. Yes. <laughs> Alex? Uh, one. Alexander Beecroft says you. Oh my gosh, Alex. She's going oh, to the best luck. She's going to the best luck. She's legitimately going to bring a knife one time and just stab you. We just She's lost gone. her. We lost her already. Alexander <laughs> Beecroft says, you stole the money. <laughs> 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 I'm going to talk now. Oh, that's very loud. Uh, <laughs> we can already see some of those prayers that are oh, not going to be right. tonight. Anyway, I was going to say, as I put my my yes. I know, that was Just good. Just shut that up was good. It's okay. Happy birthday, Seth Tunes. I know it's your birthday. I just want to give you a shout out. Who? Since I couldn't read any of the comments. Read the comments. Oh, happy read the birthday, comments. Seth. That's hey. awesome. Did you guys say happy birthday? <laughs> happy birthday, Seth. <laughs> Alexander Beecroft says, you stole the money, Marcus, you swine. No, no, Alex is the pig. She dressed up as the pig the one That's time. true. That's true. What? Um, you were there. Jeff Co <laughs> says, since oh, we yeah. have not heard from Jonathan you were for a while, I I'm that. guessing he will appear in the pit and rescue the group. <laughs> you were calling her That's that. Not. Like, I would uh, rather die in the pit than have Jonathan ba, rescue ba, me. Ba, ba, ba. What do you do? Gregory Winter says, Alex didn't leave. Yeah. Do something. Let's All right, start. will you something. please tell me okay. where everybody is? So yeah, I may I begin think, because I think, uh, this since it's been a week, uh, things were kind of hectic. A good, solid description. Yeah. We'll, we'll pull out. Thank you. We'll, we'll, we'll freeze time. It's I, always safe to pull out. Oh, my goodness. We just We've started. already started. Hmm? We haven't even started. I was thinking started. it. What, what are I you didn't guys say it. No, no. I'm freezing time. I'm by the fire. Time, I'm by the fire. We're freezing time, which means that... Since, since we're freezing time, right? It's all frozen, right? Alex is off a little bit on her own, as she has been this whole battle. But she's been doing amazingly well, <gasps> fighting creatures that have been coming out of the walls at. Her, okay, Quigley 
uh, and Crag are up near a series of five fires that they have made around the edge of their little encampment so that the pit is lit because it is deep in the night. <clears throat> bear the traps creatures. are strewn everywhere. There are two bear traps. Thousands of bear traps. There are two bear traps <laughs> that are currently uh, active. One has already been tripped. Uh, there are currently nine. Nine. Bear traps? Nine mud oh. creatures. <laughs> Some of them okay. near Crag uh, have, have, have already been hurt a little bit. Excuse me. Yeah. But the majority of them are Aren't fresh, they? having just appeared. Literally this turn, having just appeared. Oh, excellent. Marcus oh, is sorry, off like 60 feet away. He has just picked himself up off the ground. Well, I'm up lit. above, too. Right, yeah, and he's, he's out down. of the pit. Well, hundreds, he is running towards hundreds. the house. He has yes. just stood up. That's he now has a light fun. source. He is ready now, like finally, to, to run dashing. We get this guy by the by the weak light of the night. waning gibbous moon to to get to is. to Stanford Lormeyer's house so that he can bring the man down so that the man will see that there are indeed creatures because as you noticed when you destroy them they sort of just crumble away, melt into just piles of mud, uh, providing nothing with which to prove right. that yeah, there was what danger. What happens? Else. What are you doing? How many? I'm trying to wait for Jim Jim because I was uh, letting him talk, right? I'm just yep. playing Lyra's character last She was, last she was week. letting me talk. This uh, is a rare moment. I was letting you talk. Uh, well, bring I, me back one. I don't flail like bring that. Bring me back one. Um, so, <laughs> so, so you know I, that Alex is a little bit behind you. Yes, okay. Quigley is, <laughs> Sort of to your to he's at the, he's at the twelve o'clock position. And, okay. And Over towards looks, the three yeah, o'clock yeah, yeah. position I is Crag. Quickly looks back. <laughs> okay. Right. He looks. Like I would like Crig, to cast. Quickly is is. I would like to cast sanctuary and can I move toward quickly? Now, can just so you're aware. Yeah. You can move towards any one of the members of the party, without incurring any attacks of opportunity. At this point, there are no creatures near you, or near enough, or or in your way when you want to get to them. Okay. So you could, you you can you can cast sanctuary. Or I could just go you don't toward him. Have to. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna hold off on the sanctuary, and I would like to okay. go. That's sorry, a, you know football season has started. That's a hold I'm sorry. on. That's All a hold on the play. Um, okay, I would like to go <laughs> toward quickly, and I would like to um, cast. I want to like help him. I want to heal him. Oh, that's that's a good goal. I know, but okay, but I can't channel energy because then I heal whatever is around him. So what you but do know. But everything is not. But all of them are healed now, aren't they? You you do know that most of the creatures that have appeared on the field have just risen up Excellent. and are fresh to the battle. Yes. So. All right. So I'm going to channel. I'm going to run toward quickly and channel energy to heal. You're going to channel energy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> all right. Oh bears. That's a good idea. So, oh bears. So nice. Quigley and Crag will both be in this field. Of, of healing energy. Yeah, so I probably well. got the creature too. But I got, I helped. Nine. nine. Oh wait, me too? Or no? Nine points. That was nine. a good, that was a yes. good nine. Okay. That's a very so good So all the mud so... men get nine temporary hit points. What? No, I'm just kidding. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Make me oh, like I'm the evil wow. person here in the jerk. <laughs> By the way, uh, folks tuning in, if this is your first time watching, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks if for you're coming. watching us on Thank Twitch or Facebook, so glad you could join mm -hmm. us. Leave your comments in either of those chats, and maybe we'll be able to check them out. We usually check Facebook first, just because you know what, what whatever we do. But uh, sometimes we get around to the uh, Twitch chat too. So if you have anything uh, to add, feel free to leave us a comment. If this is your first time watching, let us know. Uh, and of course, make sure you share this half of the episode on Facebook. Whether you're on Twitch or not, jump over to our Facebook page. Share this half right now that is live. And uh, use the hashtag dragons and stuff when you do. And you will be eligible to win things from Dungeon Crate. What things? Well, an adventure vault to be uh, exact. It will be an adventure vault that will be sent like your way. Box. And what will be in that adventure vault is anyone's guess. It's uh, <laughs> We don't know what's in the box. Oh, but can I show them some magical, magical grab goodies. bag? Uh, sure, I think we have a few things from uh, oh, yeah. some past adventure vaults. Yes, we have little coasters that have like D20s on them. Mm -hmm. Or dice. 
<laughs> and then there's a giant D20. There was other things too that were so really cool. It's anybody's guess. It could be some of those items. It's could like be Game other items. Uh, but enter to win by sharing this half of the episode with hashtag Dragon Stuff on Facebook. And uh, make sure you're in the United States or Canada, and your share needs to be public, or else we won't see your name, and thus you'll never win. So that will be a bummer. That would be such a bummer, guys. Bummer. We're so Craigster? ready. Can we continue? Uh, oh wait, it's... our shirts. Cool, Craig. You ready to go? Go to your, go buy our shirts. Look how cool this one looks. Where should they go? Hello. They should go to wictheseries.com. Slash, slash the shop. What is the shop? <laughs> you couldn't just let her have one, could you? You couldn't just let her have it. Like she was on it, and then Alex coming oh. out from behind with the sneak what attack. Is it? Crying, it's time to crush them. You don't even know. I was gonna say, if this is anybody's first time she watching, they just want to know when we play the game. Just hit on my face. Put the hand on my face. Uh, you right, have just ready, been you've just been hit with some healing energy. You're feeling a little bit better. You know that there are creatures in the darkness. What do you do? Are there There's creatures? one in front of us, isn't it? There's there... one that you've been fighting. Craig has, I believe he clove he through. Shifted. No, because oh, I, I just tried to grapple him. So we're right next to the same one. Oh yeah, you tried to grapple Craig. I yes. forgot about that. <laughs> Is that yeah. what they're calling so it? So there's <laughs> just one in front of me? Yeah. <laughs> But Powered. you know that there are more coming from from outside the ring of light. They'll be coming in next round. All right. Well, I'm gonna attack what's right in front of me. All right. Is it Quigley? So Quigley. <laughs> no, he's what's your AC, Quigley? That's not, no, that's not what he's saying. <laughs> well, I don't know. That's what I heard you tried no, to grapple you. Remember, you. That's what he said. If you remember. You had me roll. You did. You rolled a will save. And I save rolled to... like a twenty. I believe yeah, that you... was only in this moment. What do you do? I am rage <laughs> power attacking this mud monster. Right. And cleaving is... into quick. Yeah, and then cleaving to quick. Go ahead and roll your attack back. No. Go ahead and do roll your you know, attack back. Uh... Gosh. Oh, you're not is that 20? No. Oh. That's well, a... I thought it was too. I thought it was 10 plus it. 8, 18. You have hit. Yes. It's Die. Important. It's important to note that it is Matthew McHale's first time watching. Welcome, Dude, Matthew. Welcome. Hey, Matthew. Oh, 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 nice. Nice. Max so, damage. God. Yeah, so uh, 11 plus 14, 25. <laughs> Curse Blatt? No, it is actually Blatt. still standing. Oh, still is this a thing? strong. Uh, oh, having just been dead. healed for a yes. little bit. Ugh. Craig, By Alex, actions. Pretty Pit wants to know if you figured uh, out how to drink the blood of the so, flame. Um, <laughs> does it look very weak? Oh, it, it does. It looks like like you can tell that was a huge chunk. Yes. So I'm just but, going at it. Just, but before you do anything, me? I think that it's important you know? to let your friend Alex have a turn. Don't you think, Quigley? Well, I can't see. <laughs> there she is. I, have to, I can't see the initiative. I can't read yeah. comments. Yeah, I can't she, she's play. stealthing. Okay. It's All right, so you're so, currently not next to an enemy. Never gonna get through okay. this fight. Okay. I'll now, about 15 feet ahead of you, you have seen, you see a shadow emerging from the wall. You know that at least one creature is over there. Okay. Okay? But it is not in the light yet. So if you go over to it, you'll be fighting it in darkness, which gives you a slight penalty. Or you could join your friends they're fighting in the circle of light that they've created with the, tor the, the, the bonfires they've created. Alex loves darkness, though. It's uh, up to you what you want to do. Yeah. Or I'm you can wait. No, I'm going to stealth that, bitch. Alexander Beecroft cool. said. Which way are you uh, stealthing? Sorry. I'm going to stealth it. Yeah. Wait, I really <laughs> like what Alexander Beecroft said. You yeah, are you guys going to do a Halloween special? Are we going to do a Halloween special? Wait, I said we should dress up as our characters. Or can we? Nothing. Okay, I should roll for stealth. <laughs> I think that's great. I think great. Ashley's going to do a Halloween special regardless of what we that say. Like Me too. So I love it. <laughs> Can I stealth over? I cannot stop you. 17 plus my 12. I'm going to guess you got it, but I got to roll a perception to see. You did. Yes. The creature does not appear to have noticed you as you get closer and closer to it. I assume this is the one in the dark, right? Yes. Okay. Now, you still take the penalty for darkness, but you are fighting it flat-footed because it's not aware that you are there. So it's a little bit easier to hit, but there's a slight penalty on your roll. Don't worry about it. Roll an attack. Okay, so this would be for my right here. Minus first. four for being in the dark. No, maybe one. One? Yes, so you can only attack once this round because you had to move. Oh. 18. 
With your rapier is a critical threat she's chance. Rocking it. <laughs> Isn't that really? Get it. Get First it. First roll of the night, and she's already. 12? 12 plus, 12 plus 12 eight. Plus, eight. So eight. Minus, Minus four. four. So, um, 16. 16. That is a confirmed critical hit. However, <laughs> creatures in the darkness have concealment against you. You have to roll percentile dice. Okay. That's okay. You want above 20%. <laughs> 61! You have passed concealment. You have confirmed crit. Hell yeah. First time for the Get evening. It. Just. Just do your thing, Don't Alex. And this is sneak attack, attack damage so, because attack. the creature is unaware of you. Three, D six. Her yeah, guys. So it's Wait. three D six plus two. Yeah. What we get? Oh, she's rolling a total of four D six. Four D six. One D six for the for the weapon. Three D six for her sneak attack. Only the weapon damage is doubled, <laughs> not the sneak attack damage. I understand. But okay, here we go. So which Excellent. one of those D sixes is your is your weapon? That one? No, we'll do my, we'll stick with the... Okay, so, so that one my... gets double. <laughs> four plus four is eight. Plus, no, four plus two, so it's, uh, it's oh. 12. 12, so we're starting so out with 12. I can't do math. Then and actual. then your sneak attack damage is how much? Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> is it dead? It's not dead, though. <laughs> you just slice this thing's leg off, and the leg, like, Flops to the ground and the creature almost like topples over and it and it leans against the wall uh -huh. and then you can see a part of it like flow down and reshape its leg but it's clearly like off balance for a moment. Oh my gosh! You've, all that you've obviously wounded this creature very severely. But uh, it's not down. Another leg. But it is wounded. Now the ever eager uh, Quigley uh, can take a turn. Now you know that you are right next to Crag, so you are not flanking with Crag. You can shift if you'd like. Um, no, but I'm just going way to attack. You're just gonna attack straight up? Yes. Okay. Um, I have a plan of what I want to do oh. with my move action if I'm able to. If you're taking a full attack action, you will not no, have I'm a move not. action. I'm okay. just using my... Yeah! Your Kya, yeah, right. Yeah! He's gonna I'm use his Kya. That's a... No, I'm taking my scimitar. Oh, the using. scimitar. Because it's magical. Did you have that drawn? Yes, I did. Actually. Yeah, you did. I remember it. Oh my goodness, I forget what it is. Brian, no, do you wanna read that comment? I forget everything. <laughs> Dylan Kayser says, uh, with the level the camera sits at, I'd rather not have Craig dress up as Craig in his loincloth for a Halloween special. <laughs> Keep the mouse in the house, buddy. I'm with you there. Yeah. Ultimately, the Craig name kind of covers up that breach. <laughs> still, I would have to sit like that. This is a quickly rage! Oh! 11 plus 10 gives me 21. Miss. Oh! No, I'm just kidding. Oh! No, I was gonna say. He's just very sassy tonight already. One plus my five gives me wow. six points of damage. Dead. Even with minimum damage, thanks to Prague's massive attack. Vulture. You managed to slay this creature, Yay. bringing it down right, into nothing but a pile of clay, now, unmoving. With my, um, with my move action, I want to shift so that I'm in a position to draw these creatures to me so that they will come into my bed traps. You can put yourself so that one, <laughs> if it were to come at you, would, would hit a bear trap. And then I yell at them, I say, hey, you stupid, stupid, poopy faces. Come and fight me! No, it was Stoopy Poopies. <laughs> you Stoopy Poopies. You Stoopy Poopies! <laughs> nice. Do they have ears? Yeah, they have I mean, I would I, 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 well, I mean... Okay. Stoopy Poopies. Stoopy Marcus. Poopies. You have stood up oh, after God. all this time. You currently have light active, so you have a light source. You have Expeditious Retreat active, so you can move very fast. You are now standing. Uh, you can see the, the shape of the house in the distance. You may now proceed to do what you've been wanting to do for so long. Yes, well, uh, one thing I wanted to mention about the shirts, the shirts were brought up earlier that you can order from WICTheSeries.com. I got that right. Uh, there's, I'm, I'm rolling my eyes because there's apparently something that our fulfillment, it's going away, it's a website thing. It's gonna take me a while to figure out how to get shirts back 
online for you to order. That's not happening until like Monday, so you have like this weekend to order some shirts. So mm -hmm. folks, if you want to order some shirts, do it ASAP. We'll get shirts going again here in a few days or weeks, <laughs> depending on how long it takes me to figure it all out. But uh, it's get gonna your take shirt a while. He's joking so, because he's so sad about that. You had his and uh, I, of course, run because no one <laughs> alerted me that any more mud men have showed up, and I have the power of the universe to stop all of them. But it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna run. <laughs> uh, okay. Expedition's retreat. Full all-out run. Taking on the path a full, of my light. a full run action. You zip toward the house. Zap. I zip. Continuing on your way. Zip now it is my turn. The creatures. First of all, the one near you immediately turns on you. Oh, do they call and, and us into one out. giant creature and start smashing oh, their faces? Sure. No. That'd be Next awesome. <laughs> oh, okay. Alex, yes. your current AC is? My current AC is 17. 17. You notice that this creature focuses directly Wait, on you. I apologize. I also have cats. Um, the spell That's right, that you do have Cat's Grace. Thank you, Cat's nice. Grace. So Cat's 19. Grace. And I believe that you have an ability that says that when you hit somebody with your sneak attack, certain things happen to them. Real, like what? Sneak attack. very exciting news. This has been like this forever. Well. I have to keep track of this stuff. Jim Jam says that. I'm pretty sure that you have a plus, plus. one to your AC oh. against this foe. Oh, opponents damaged by your sneak attack. Um. Sorry? Yeah, opponents, name, what happens to them? Uh, can't make attacks of opportunity for one round. Okay. Um, am I missing something? I think I think you also have offensive defense, which allows you to have a plus one to your AC. That's, oh, that's, oh, that's all the way up bummer. here. Yeah. When a rogue with this talent like hits a creature with melee attack that deals sneak attack damage, the rogue gains a plus one dodge bonus to AC for that each sneak That is correct. Attack. So when you sneak attack someone, remember that against that opponent, you uh -huh. have a slightly higher AC. So it's plus two for the cat's grace and plus one for your offensive defense. Oh. So she's at 20 right She now. is at 20 with to this creature. Nice. You notice you, though Lyra. that it looks directly <laughs> at you and seems to have no trouble in the help. darkness discerning exactly where you are as it lashes out at you. Ooh. 20 on the die. Nice! You I mean, on 20. 20 on the die. Alex, this thing smashes you. you you're feeling confident after, after you sliced it. You are feeling like there's no way it's gonna notice you in the darkness, and then it just blasts you in the face. Fair enough. In the face! Crazy. <laughs> you know, if you didn't say things, then it would be okay. <laughs> Alex. Yes. You take 18. Eight, 18 what? Damage? damage? <laughs> <laughs> I thought my AC was going to go down. 18 what? 18 what? 18 what? What are you trying 18 to say? 18 points of damage. <laughs> I was thinking of AC. And you need to make a fortitude save. Oh, no. I'm very afraid because we managed to. You have avoid. just beasted those fortitude saves this whole combat. So nervous Let's see what happens now. D20, yes? The D20. Uh, uh, that's not a high fortitude save. <laughs> Your luck has run out. Plus two as this five. thing not only smashes you, but sort of moves forward and begins to just engulf you in thick clay and mud impeding your movements, though the creature itself still seems to be able to move its its amorphous form around you as it forms fists, almost like it's just gonna pummel you while you're trapped within its confines. Can she move at all? She is thoroughly entrapped. She can make a, you can make a strength to check to try to burst out, or you can use escape artist to try to escape this uh, condition. Um, or it can be washed away with a lot of water. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you even say that? Jim, do I do this? Why would you even say that? She would have no idea. Water, water, water! Do I do this on my turn or right now? Uh, you will have to wait to your turn to take okay. an action. Okay. Um, as Chad, the creature. What? Sorry, Chad Hagen said, wow, the man in a dress runs. What's new, right? <laughs> These are robes! He's very sensitive about, about his clothing choices. You notice that the creatures 
in the darkness. Move to surround. You don't need to know that. The the little camp you've made with the fire, but they don't approach very closely. All of them standing back now, as if they've they've learned uh, from the past actions of their comrades that coming too close seems to put them at a disadvantage, and they just begin to hurl balls of clay and mud at you from afar. That's ridiculous. Not a Three fight. coming at you, Such Piggly. A coward. That's a miss. Ah. That's another miss. Bring it on! And a third miss. <laughs> it's embarrassing. My I was just talking about their superior tactics, and now I can't, uh, can't do anything. It's not embarrassing. Uh, you just Craig. Like, crumbled me. Yeah, I know. That's what I did. Craig, you are getting two coming at you. Ooh, that's another 20 on the die. And Craig's right. And that's two hits on Craig. Oh Craig. You are taking 12 points of damage and are temporarily blinded by the mass of mud that strikes you in the face. The second hit is nine more points of damage. And then Lyra, from out of the darkness, comes a, a, a ranged assault. Dot. A miss. Dot. Dot. Another miss. Dot. And a hit. Lyra <laughs> cursed. Lyra, you Sorry, take five points of damage. Okay. And are blinded. An eight-year-old. No, water. Okay, you can on your turn. You are more than welcome to do that. And it is indeed your turn. Water. So can I? So since I noticed that like it blinded me, did I see my other friends get hit? Oh yeah, you you well, you you were looking around and you just saw these missiles things. just flying can out of the I, darkness, can just, I just pelting douse everybody. Them with water in one you turn. can cast that one time. What? I usually and cast since you can't time. see, <laughs> since you cannot see, I have you to. would have to do you clear yourself. You can just you can here's what you can do. Away. You can use an action, a move action to wipe the mud away. Yeah. And then use your use standard action yeah, yeah, to yeah. cast the spell All on right, somebody All right, wiping mud. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to give, how close am I to Alex? Alex, uh, she's, she's the furthest one from you I currently. don't. Craig, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, Because she Craig. is also in the dark. Yeah, I was gonna you say, you wouldn't have right. seen I wouldn't have seen her, but yeah. I would have seen him yeah. because I'm close to him. Uh, yes, Craig, yeah. you are well aware is in trouble. What? Okay. Um, your vision is, is cleared as, as you are just doused in a, a uh, mass, eight gallons of water, actually 10 at this point, gallons of water come raining down on you, wiping away the mud. Uh, you, are, you are once again able to see. Does that bring me out of rage? No, it does not bring you out of rage. Uh, you are currently in rage. Thank goodness, nothing. We need to leave. Brian Summer says, says give us, does that uh, make it a chilly night or a warmer <laughs> night? I just. Want to know? Uh, it is currently very warm where you are because there are five raging campfires around. <laughs> so so. Very By the way, Brian Summer says Lyra will cast Malibu Mudslide. <laughs> Josh Schoen says Lyra, don't forget those spiffy gloves you have to reach through space to aid your team. I know, but I, I'm already there. I'm close to that. And don't right? you all forget to share but this half of that. the episode with the hashtag Dragons and stuff on Facebook. Jump over to our Facebook page or Wherever you're at on Facebook, just hit that share button. Make sure your share is public here in the United States or Canada. And uh, you use the hashtag dragons and stuff. And that way you can win epic stuff from Dungeon Crate, who is sponsoring this episode. And that epic stuff for this half is, in fact, one of their adventure vaults, which has a smorgasbord of past items that have been given out uh, in previous crates. So definitely want to enter that to win. Uh, this is our first time doing a, this giveaway, so we're really excited about it. Hopefully you will share, uh, not just for the giveaway, but uh, also to get your friends, family, dogs, loved ones, enemies involved uh, for your chance to win. Let's go. All right. Craig, All right. I believe you're up. <laughs> you are indeed, Craig. So what do I see, Jim? You know that from out of your ring of lights that you've created, <laughs> Uh, there, you see shadows and shapes. Uh, you know there are creatures out there. I don't you think know... he does see that. He's blind. No, I no, he was. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Lyra, yeah, Lyra took care of that. Oh, she's about Lyra. to smack sorry. you. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so you you are aware of where they are. You could you could move to them. You just if you were to do that, you'd be fighting in me. darkness, so they have concealment, and there's a slight chance you would miss. Much like with the wolves that you were fighting in the forest. Craig, there is a group of is that just a low growl? <laughs> three of them, about 20 feet ahead of you. Um, and if you were to go in the uh, back towards Alex, it, there are some. There, there's, there's at least one. She's not in light. What's that? She's not in light. I don't even know where. Yeah, she Alex is. has kind of been off on her own. She hasn't no really made her presence known oh. to, to anybody. I so you're was, just aware of the ones. I believe with it was Quigley. Michael McNeil's comment. It just disappeared from our feed, but I believe it was Michael McNeil that said, "Oh hey, look, there's a leg just laying here. Might as well throw it, huh?" <laughs> My leg. <laughs> Yeah, your leg. No! It was definitely Alex's leg. That's this... what he was referring to. Oh, that's mm -hmm. Yeah, Alex's leg's I just laying there. I didn't know what it was. kind of like so, a stranger thing kind of thing. A raging, a raging crag is going to charge forward. Okay. And fight those three things. I'm back! Okay. I'm back! What does that mean? You rush forward towards the nearest group <laughs> of creatures. There's three of them. Uh, when you move, sadly, uh, you cannot cleave, I realize. You can still attack, you can still power attack, but if you want to cleave, that's a full round action. Okay. So, you can, can attack charge, one. Can I charge power attack? Oh yeah, you can charge and power attack, yeah. Charge power attacking mm -hmm. one of these son of a beasts. Now, because you're charging into the darkness, there would be a check to make sure you can maintain of your course. footing. This is awesome. Of I love course. it. But you can do it. I'll Alex, allow do you it. want to read that comment, by check the way? It. Dylan Kazers? Sure. Um, I'm 99% sure Evil Jim Jam came up with a particular adventure because he wanted to go, he wanted to get the girls mud wrestling. I'm on to you, Jim, and I like where your head's at. Hey. I think that's my, I think that's my title. Different <laughs> vibe. You guys. So at first, no, we're getting so first I have to do an done. acrobatics check. Lira, we're first, doing mud you do indeed. Just to maintain your footing as you rush through the darkness. Acrobatics check. Much no like Marcus no had to do. Everyone with 17 plus right 8, <laughs> 25. That's a, a shockingly successful check. You charge forward. Go ahead and make your attacks. Oh, now, power ready, attack. Ready. Total charge, of minus 2. Attack. So plus, wait, minus 2 because of the darkness, because I added plus right, 2. Right, because it's no, plus it's 2, four, it's minus 4, four but four, plus 2 for charging. So, so yeah, two. your net is minus 2. Awesome. So I got uh, 17. 17 total? That's my total, 17. All right, that is a hit, Craig. Yes. Roll damage. Take it. Whoa. Hit Craig. So, uh, 20. 20 points of damage. 20 points of damage. Just, Not so just, good, just 20. 20. Just 20. Just 20. Yeah. That's a little bit. A raging Craig. Oh, you man. rush forward, slam your hammer into the full force into right one back. of these creatures. Does it charge? <laughs> oh, the charge It does not add to damage, damage, no. Yeah. It does reduce your armor class by two for the round. No. Oh. I love when you have conversations Ooh. with yourself. Seriously? <laughs> it's my favorite. Yeah, it has always done that. It makes you, it, you're the recklessness. Even weaker. I bet your armor class is already just like almost zero because you're raging and cleaving all the time. Like you're, you don't need to worry about armor class. You just need to kill things before they kill you. Blair uh, Peterson, by the way, mentioned Craig. It's heaving and cleaving time. Heaving and cleaving time. He's about to heave, yes, I think. Sir, Craig. And Jeff Kotke, Kotke says Craig looks like a drowned, enraged cat. Sort of. A very large cat. His, his hair's all covering his face right now. So wet. Alex, it is your turn. I'm going to scream. This creature is well aware of you now. Okay. You are currently just almost all, you're stuck in this mass of, of mud and clay. You can try an escape artist check to get out. Uh, you could try a strength check to get out, but that's a little harder. What do you do? I'm gonna, uh -oh. I'm gonna scream help towards Lyra. Help! Okay. And then I'm gonna uh, do escape artist. Okay, you attempt an escape artist check to get out. Roll thy check. Okay, hey, Houdini. 12 plus, escape, where are you? I just had it and I lost it, 11. So 23. 23. You barely managed to to oh. pull yourself out of this mass. Wow. Uh, so it, is it is it is so much more difficult because not only are you just covered in this mud, Please. but it's it seems to move to try to to, to hold on to yeah. you and suck you deeper in as you rip yourself out of it. But you do manage to free yourself. Cool. 
lost. Unfortunately, that's oh. your action for the round. It's fine. Uh, which will take us to the top of the net. Thank you. Jim, oh, no. it's important to note that one of our fans in the chat, I believe John, John Bookley, Bickley, says cleave round full action question mark house rule because it's a standard action a according standard to d20pfsrd.com which folks if you don't regularly use d20pfsrd.com to check <laughs> your rules you are a fool and uh also missing out on a great uh, great opportunity to uh be able to easily have reference to any rule you are looking for for the pathfinder system uh, so definitely check out d20pfsrd.com uh, whenever you're playing creating character or running uh, what do you got, Jimbo? He's oh yeah, that's right. Because I was, I was, I was thinking about you can't move in the middle of a cleave. Right. Retroactively bad. do oh, it. Oh well. You fool! Let him retroactively do it. You know what? No, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, we are gonna go to, uh, <laughs> we're gonna the top of the next round with Quigley. What do you want to do? Frag has just rushed off into the darkness. <laughs> he won't let you do it. Tell him. Um. So I heard her eight. yell help. Yes. From the darkness, do I know where that elf is coming oh, from? Oh yeah, you can you can tell the direction of sound. Right. I mean, you look and over, you I see her see like struggling, like you can see face. Run away into the darkness. Oh yeah. The other way. Yeah, he's gone the exact opposite direction. In fact. Ah, oh, I so wish we had Oddbox so he would come out of rage. It's driving me insane. Why don't we ever stick together and fight together? Yeah. Because you run up into the darkness. No, we sometimes <laughs> use strike bolts before. Lots of times you what strike bolts. What does Oddbox mean? Every time. Oddbox. Nothing. It's an animal. Right now it means nothing. Aardvark, they wanted to set up a secret code that Craig would recognize no, 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 in rage that he would come out of it. Not they wanted to set up. Quigley wanted no, to set up. No, but it worked last time. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. It because never worked. It you guys had a big argument about it. No, it didn't. Yeah, I chose, I chose that he would have I hear her yelling help. I'm going to go yeah, we'll talk about this later. later. I rush over to the monster okay. fighting you her. You see that, yeah, she is right up next to one of these creatures. It's dark over here, they're, they're, but but you see she just just barely manages to rip herself out of the confines of this thing. How does this, you've fought so many of these mud monsters so far. Yeah. How does it look? Is it, is it close to death? Can I tell? You can see that, that right now it looks very misshapen. Oh! Um, oh, and I move into a flanking position with her if I can. <laughs> if you want to move into a flanking position, you're going to no, take an attack no, of opportunity. I'll just run in there and I'm just jump on to top of it. it. And ah! I'm going to, um, Oh yeah, that's right. Oh no, it's into darkness. Don't worry, I'm just I mean, if you want to make the check, Craig did it. No, I'm just telling you. You don't want to risk it? No, you might charge into space. You can do it. It's too risky for Quigley. Quigley feels like that's too much of a risk for him, so he doesn't want to chance it. I get it. Really? Saving someone's life? Don't try my life! I totally fall! I don't know who he listened to in that. Wait, is this a chance to kill me? I think he might have listened to it. He listened to his conscience. Look at my character down on that screen over there. Look at that's the man who is running Flaming Izzy, though, Izzy, if show you decapitate him, he's dying. What it's is Eight plus one, please. please <laughs> eight plus three. <laughs> no, I, don't, I think it's plus one. Oh, wait, wait take one. one. I'm going to have to go to like some How wizard or wench. How am I supposed to save everyone? I'm going to decapitate. I'm going to be. Eight, eight plus one. Oh, Nine. my God. Am I dead? Quickly. This is your fault, Jim Jim. This is your fault. Is how much? No. Nine. Yeah. I you go <laughs> slipping on on a patch of mud. Great. Does he and slip on you the don't... crag crap? No, no tell me he slipped on the crag crap. Tell me he slipped on the crag crap. No, you put a it stick. It was out there. That would have been a one. This is an eight on the die. It's not that bad. You don't. Not that. You don't go falling on your face. You, in fact, actually manage to get to where you go, but you kind of stumble up into this, and you have no footing to make an attack. But the creature, seeing your your wild unhinged uh, charge does just kind of swat at you in an attack of opportunity. Missing. Oh my somehow, gosh. somehow in your ridiculous I'm, flailing, I'm just, you have your shield I'm, I'm in sliding, just the right position and it just and it comes splats in against your shield. And I'm like, I slide right under it and pop back up. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> but you will not get to make an attack this round. Except for my sword, that while I was sliding, just like Whoa. penetrated him. Were you yeah, really it penetrated him? <laughs> yes. Marcus. I mean, really. Ruth Renault, I believe, mentioned that uh, d20pfsrd.com is the best site on the internet. Uh, and uh, wow. while, a bold, while a bold statement, I can't quite disagree, besides, of course, facebook.com slash dragons and stuff. Uh, and they do put a ton of work into d20pfsrd.com. So if you are willing, go to opengamingstore.com, which you can also get to by going to d20pfsrd.com. There's a lot of websites. Basically, go to d20pfsrd.com and think about purchasing something uh, and, from there. And maybe there. you should say it slower so people know 
But you're the one that's already yelling at me to hurry up. It's on, it's on our team. about page. Team, focus. I'm about to, come cool. on. So for my turn, yeah. I run. All right, All right. I'm done. Uh, at the end of and a full sprint, at the end of your round, you managed to get up to, you are at the steps of this house. Okay, you are, you are next round, you'll be able to do whatever you're gonna do, but you're there. But with what my free action, yeah, now. Yes, I'm gonna sorry. yell. You hush, you hush your mouth. I'm next not round, yell? next round, we will I'm get to that. Yell? No, you're not gonna yell. He would yell as soon as he got there. Boo! I, you guys <laughs> forget, go rounds, this man. Rounds, Boo. rounds are six seconds long, that's it. But he's very fast. No. He's no, he's not. I'm fast. You shut your mouth, Well, in, in this exact oh, moment, he's pretty fast. I thought he was talking to you. I was like, what? All right, what happens to us? Blair Peterson, by the way, says, Jim goaded Quigley right into that. Well done, Jim. I was actually shocked at how easy it was. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. It makes sense, though. He strides boldly forward. Blair Peterson also says, We're gonna have die. we not learned by now that trying to slide between the legs of an enemy never works? <laughs> no, we haven't learned that yet. It's a great tactic. That we will never me. learn. I was fine. Into the darkness. I'm raging! Frag. I was fine. Three. Everyone else. Is now melee attacks coming at you as these uh, creatures swarm you three. in the darkness. Frag, on a scale to, uh, of, of none to many, how many hit points do you have? <laughs> <laughs> You're about to have a few less, Frag, as one of these creatures manages to connect, dealing six points of damage. I would have you make a fortitude save. However, I am reminded that it is impossible to entrap you because you yes, have a my ring, ring of oh. clean the room. <laughs> so yes. while, while technically, yes, yeah, you would be forced to make a fortitude save, that. it is not relevant whether you fail or pass because you cannot be entrapped by these creatures because of your ring of free freedom of movements. Are you dead? Uh, I mean, <laughs> when, when, uh, when the 10 runs out, are you dead? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Are you still in the positives? Oh, uh, just uh, <laughs> oh, just no. my plus ten. No. I'm eating on my run. rage points. What are we doing? You better run, Marcus. We got to get out of here, guys. I just want you to know there was good cheese at this place, and there's a solid chance that Marcus thought there was <laughs> one, there was one left when Marcus left you all, and none of you told him there was any more, and so. He's probably not going to be that big. Wait. I'm preparing all of your souls, minds, and bodies for the fact that Marcus is can we talk? probably going to try to get paid yeah, before getting if, there. If you I'm all stressed. die while Marcus is just there eating raiding the cheese. pantry eating cheese, I mean, that'd be amazing. No, that would just no, be. No, the no, show would be done. Marcus, Nick, no, there's no, one. No, because there's all there of you. Be, there would be four I'm dead stressing. characters in game and one dead character in real life. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm okay. This is Seth Toon's birthday. We're celebrating yeah, Seth Toon's birthday with all of this stuff. Glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. We're celebrating Seth Toon's birthday with a TPK. No, yeah. not a TPK because I'll live. Oh my God. I'm stressed out. I'm just gonna eat over here. There are there are missiles coming out of the darkness missiles. towards you. A missile towards you. Missile. You, 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 oh, Lyra. You. you. One of the misses. One hit. No. One. One misses, and well, now wait, the wait. next one also misses. Okay, God. I was really. What about the third one? A third one. No, no, no. Yeah, probably happens. Also missed. Oh, <laughs> oh seventh one. Seventh. We'll keep going. Over by, <laughs> over in the darkness, where the fight rages on. Yes. A creature tries to once again engulf Alex. Ah. But is unable to move. You pulled out again. Uh, move I correct. did. However, it's a great tactic. Um, more creatures. It's not 100 effective. Come right? towards the sound of this battle. <laughs> Oh my, no. And we're going around the oh, camp now. Oh, fight together, die alone, guys. You ran Fight together, die alone. Oh, you keep saying this, You follow you the charging barbarian. Well, I'm trying to save people. One more is going to try to attack you, Alex, and miss. Good. One more is going to try to attack uh, Quigley and miss. And that is it for me for the round. 
good. Oh, that wasn't like, nearly that was that was <laughs> actually a really <laughs> really pathetically easy round that for you guys. That was fine. You're all fine. You guys um, are okay. Lyra, you are now alone in the light. Oh, you you stepped into the light to kill everybody, and they scattered into the darkness. What do you do? Uh, um, did I see how? Oh, you that. know you know where they've gone, but you're not aware of how bad off Craig is right now because okay. he, you know where he is, but you don't. You can't, he's just, there's just a mass of melee and, and okay. chaos over there. Well, right. she's, sorry, I'm just trying Blood to understand. She's Blood. basically on one side of a bunch of fires in the middle of the night. Yeah, she, so, like, she's it's like. It's impossible to like see to the right, other side. Right, right. Okay, well, then I'm going toward the, where, where I heard help. Okay, so would, over to Alex. That's what I would do. Uh, you see that Quigley and Alex are beset. There are four enemies over there. You can see that Quigley time. and Alex <laughs> are, are doing their best to hold them off. What? Quigley and Alex are doing their best to hold off these four enemies. What do you do? Just quickly, very quick. Um, okay. Do I see how, like... Four on us? Sorry, three. You're right. All right. Um, how badly are the creatures that are, they're fighting? Hurt? Uh, it, I mean, it's dark over there. This is the problem. Okay. They're, everybody's moved out of the light. Um... You're an elf. You're an elf. You can't see anything. Oh, yeah, I can see. You're the worst. Hey. Oh, that's right, you have low light vision, so you can see much further. The light reaches much further for you. Right, okay, so well, you I can actually go... see, yes, pretty clearly. All right, so I run over there. Can I cast Sanctuary on myself and heal and do a cure? No, one thing? or the other. All right, then I'm going to do uh, Cure Moderate Room. Okay, if you move up, they're in melee combat with a bunch of creatures. So if you get up there and cast a spell, <laughs> Tommy Simmons says, douse all of them with water. Mudslide. <laughs> Everybody just slides. Slide. 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 Hang up. Slide. Okay. You could use your gloves. You could use your gloves if you wanted to make it to do it from back here. Yeah. We're doing the slide. Whoa. That was a hey. bad word. Um, I would like to use my gloves. Okay. You create sort of a little vortex of of uh, that warps time and space, allowing you to reach through. And touch which of your Good friends? Oh, you could touch me. Um, no, you're way not too far even away. Strength. You're outside Crab. of the range of Bull that. Strength. Um, I'm gonna um, quickly. Quickly. Quickly's getting a cure moderate wounds. Yes. That's two d8 plus five. Okay. Hold on. Two d8 plus five. Yes, indeed. Come see you. Come see my dead body. Nope. What? Nope. You what? were close. Two d8. No, that was a d8 and a d10. Roll that one now. Ooh, it heads. sparkled. Great. Yeah. It's like awesome. my purple one. Four plus five is nine. Nine points Thank of damage. Okay, okay. quickly. Uh, you feel a, a touch on your shoulder, and healing light infuses you, closing some of your wounds. I say, I feel better. <laughs> and now, Crag, surrounded in the dark. What do you do? Three of them in front of me, or am I completely surrounded? They, they've all moved to sort of swarm you, so you're surrounded at this point. How many? Are you going to cleave them? Uh, how yes, many? I'm going to cleave yes. them. Three. Three? Three of them. Well, as long as this first hit succeeds, then you'll be able to cleave the next one, so I'm sure it'll be fine, Craig. It's all to you. This I'm is so Craig's sorry. final stand. A raging power great cleave. Tell me you're not well. That, that I'm not talking right now. I know. Ah, come on! 13 plus 10 minus 2. Am I getting penalty for darkness? Yes, you are. <laughs> minus 4? Minus 4 for dark. We're so nine, 9 plus 10, right? Yeah. 19. 19. 19 is a hit. Roll Come for concealment. On. You gotta roll you the concealment. Roll concealment. You went over 20%, Craig. God. You can do this. 34. Yes. All yes. right. Well, your first is a hit. Roll damage. First is a hit. Come on, die, sucker. Again, you rolled the 20. same thing. Another 20. You splatter Just the first 20. target, killing it instantly. Oh. Ah, second one. Budge. 10. <laughs> 10 total? 10 total. 10 total is not enough. You try to carry through. No mud, not budge. Are I unable wish. to connect. That should be delicious. With your next foe, you know Alex. You that. Your friends have responded to your call for help, but you find yourself still in dire straits. I'm, I'm really the one sorry, to call them for help. Do one. That's what I literally just said. Your, your friends have responded to your oh, call for I help. Know what you said. <laughs> anyway, 
I'm going to try and get the last one that's on us. You mean the last one? Do you mean no, the first one? Because you haven't killed you any of them yet. Very well right yes, now. the first one, sorry. All right, the first one that you initially struck, you're going for with two attacks? Yes, please. So Do first it. it's my rapier. Ew. Seven plus six. Seven plus six, is that with 13. the minus four for dark? Oh, yeah. well then forget that. Nine. Okay. That's a Nine fail. is not enough. Okay, here's my dagger. I didn't know this. Battle 13 plus... Nine plus six is 15. <laughs> is how much? Sorry. 15. 15? 15? Not quite enough. You barely missed this creature. Lisa gonna die? Strike. What in the world? You just might, unless Quigley can save you. Well, Sir Gerald is Jonathan's father. Dun, dun, dun. That's what no. Lucas Martinez says. No, Lucas Martinez. That is incorrect, uh, because they, obviously, they do not... Explain later! Fight now! Trap Sparrow, and Sir Gerald Shut it! Do it! Trap do something! Sparrow. Save me! Right. So, um, here's my plan. First of all, I scream, Leave them to the light! And then I attack just oh, no, with my one scorch. Brilliant plan. My one scimitar right at that guy that's going to die right now! Oh. No. He no, doesn't he die doesn't right die. now! <laughs> but you still have a move action. I acrobatically retreat. Okay, when you're using acrobatics to avoid attacks of opportunity, you move at half speed. Yeah. Now, what I need you to understand is that you have to pass through two threats in order to do this. Bring it on! <laughs> so <laughs> that's two checks. I know it is. Say it quickly. Uh, Say it quickly. He's not feeling. He's not feeling. Bring it down! <laughs> Five! <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and take my no. first attack of opportunity. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat two. It is a miss. <laughs> it is a miss. Why is stress eating? Makes me feel like I'm not. Do I have to make another one? Mm. You can keep going. I'm going to keep going. All right. Oh. I'm also stressed. Ah! 11 plus 1 is 12! We're gonna make my second attack of opportunity. No! <laughs> this one is a miss yes! as well. Oh, that new agile you breast barely is so managed to wonderful. get out of the way. I'm like, oh, Lady Ash did such a wonderful job at making this for me! And you managed to back up to your just and now inside the circle of light, <laughs> closer to where uh, Lyra has stopped. So, Lyra, you oh, see Quigley oh, backing oh, out of the darkness. <laughs> Uh, he's he's about he's he's really close to you now, uh, but you know that Alex is still out there. I the mean, dark, I just don't know anymore. And now it is my turn, Wait. Alex. Wait, no, it's not. That was it's, Quigley's oh, turn. Oh yeah, I guess. Uh, no, Quigley just went, so I guess it's your turn. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, whatever you're gonna do. <laughs> I'm, well, not... I'm looking for the cheese, obviously, Jim. No. Oh, I start you off. Hey, hey, uh, wake up! I got the. Something to show you, guy, and I start pounding on the door, and I'm saying, "Come on, to the stuff." And okay. also, do you have any cheese? All right, you're pounding on the door, yelling and screaming, and, and making a scene. My turn. Cool. Alex. I did it, guys. I did it for you. Good luck. You are surrounded by enemies. Quigley has left you. A hit. A miss. And a hit, oh. Alex. I'm probably here. Comes the pain. Done. You yeah, take Alex. seven points of damage from the first hit. Mm. Oh, are you unconscious? Not, Not yet. yet. Not yet. She's and you take close. eight points of damage from the second hit. Get out of there! Oh, I need to run! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Jose Angel I says, uh, "Lyra is the perv." I'm not. Which is true. I am and not. Alex is the saint. Let me fix my halo. Let me fix my Marcus is still halo. Marcus. <laughs> Craig, you guys don't even know. Attacks back. are coming your way. We don't know how she is. Because the third foe has I been know. dealt with. Take it back. A miss? Today. Wait, the guy died? Huh? Yes, you killed one. Yeah, you killed one. Oh, I killed one? Not. I. You said you splatted it. You yeah, hit I... it with two 20s. It's okay, Jim. Don't kill that one, after all. I guess he's alive. He's going to make his attack. Nobody knew he was dead, so he's still up in the fight. Dean Kayser says the more Quigley talks yes, before he I rolls, can... the smaller the roll is. Craig, you're taking a you're taking a hit. You're taking a hit from from number two. It's a weak one. You take five points of damage. You are you are up by the you are you're you're uh, you're doing one of these. 
Yeah. Just about. Uh, That's what I'm doing. Okay. Because okay. okay. he's decided that in his rage he can't even speak, he can't call out for help. Makes sense. It's true. It's true. Oh, Quigley and Lyra. There are missiles coming your way. Once he goes out the I don't know I'm dying. Wait, is it his turn? One miss on Lyra. Really How many rounds of rage do you Two misses allowed? on Lyra. Yes, but if he goes on And a miss on Quigley. That's kind of pathetic. Those? Feel bad about that one. Three left. That was not feeling good about it. What? And now it's Lyra's turn. Uh, I would, but though, those but are mark all, it. I just didn't mark them from last time. I checked them. Okay. Dude, you're going to freaking die. Yeah. Um, you're going to actually yeah. die. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, it was nice okay, playing with you guys for 23 Brad episodes. Did not die. He's going to actually Brad is, die. Brad no. is I'm in trouble if you don't help him. I have a question. Are, is he on the yeah. ground? I don't, can you don't I even see know. Him? You don't see him. Actually, because I, I had forgotten about her low light vision. She can uh, actually see where question. Craig is. Uh, is he within 30 feet? Of where she is right now? No, because she moved to the opposite side to help right. out. Yeah. I'm running to Craig. Now, remember, you What's can, it? you, you have your, your gloves are still active. All right. You can change yes. where they are. Yes. I you want can... to do that for him. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, so now that I've you. led you by the hand <laughs> to victory, what do you do now? I'm going to try to heal him. Yeah? Which yes, spell? With, um, well, I only have pure light wounds left, so pure light wounds. Hey, he has a lot of light wounds. No, <laughs> so I... go ahead and cure That's two, at least right? one of them. A lot of deep wounds. Uh, it's 1d8. 1d8 plus 5. Eight. <laughs> Did you roll a 1? One plus five is six. Okay. I feel better. You feel a tiny bit better I'm from where sorry. you started the round at. All right. not, at least I'm not swaying anymore. You're not swaying but anymore. Are, are you? I'm, so I'm swaying. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You're fine. It's not looking good. It's not looking okay. good. Hello, fellow heroes. Thank you for watching. Be sure to give us a like at facebook.com slash dragons and stuff. I'm sure you've heard that link said numerous times in this episode, but we really, really appreciate your support and your love, feedback, and all the cool stuff with it. Thanks, guys.